All right, so this car's done. We're gonna uh, we're gonna check it real quick. Just run it on down the street so we can give you a sound clip. And of course, the customer can see it and hear it because it might be uh, a little bit of time to call until uh, he can get this car. So let's get a little bit of a sound clip. Go up down the street. It'll be a little tease for you. Again, this is our stealth exhaust. It is running the Skunk 2 header and the factory catalytic converter and then our exhaust. It's the biggest resonator, the biggest mufflers we can use and of course it uses a resonator tube. So let's get a quick sound clip of him driving by right here. It sounds nice and mellow. In fact, the supercharger is louder than the exhaust. That's been a, a big concern of ours, is to keep the cars as close to factory as possible. Of course, make more power, make it more fun to drive, but we don't want something obnoxious and loud, and of course, droney. All right, we're going on a very short road trip. Uh, in fact, it's just up the road. We have a car that's in storage from a customer in Canada and he dropped the car off before this whole virus thing kicked in and the idea was is that he would leave the car there we would go pick it up do the build and then put it back in the storage for whenever he can get down here all right so just a short ride up here this is 62nd avenue the shop is that way almost to the right of that tower so this is the extra storage you've seen us come here before we had a customer that dropped a car here and I think he was the pilot that flew out of uh, the airport dropped his car here so if all goes well George is gonna type in the code here and it should let us in see what happens when you have a lower car you can't reach it, it says please use only the last four digits of your gate code followed by the symbol so the last four let's try it Hey, it works. Look at that. That works. Like we knew what we were doing. Now, they only want you to touch four digits because they don't want you to touch the thing any more than four times. And this guy probably tailgate and come right in behind us. Yeah. The guy's like, oh yeah, I'll come in. Oh, damn, the door's open. Yeah. Oh, crap, there's no sense of me typing in a code. Uh, got four or five. I think this so, is E on this side here. Yeah, it's going up in single digits. 14, 15. Uh, sign from the end. Oh, that's a good sign. It's just rusted. Just rusted clothes. It's been here for a while. There it is. So if the customer is watching this, he is probably like, ah, the car is there. So we showed you this before, but these units are really nice. They're clean. They do have a light. So if you were dropping off or picking up at night, at least you can see what you're doing. There is no outlet. Obviously, they don't want you working in here, but it's a pretty nice size unit. See that? Very cool. So, this, let's go ahead and pick it up and take it to the shop. Pretty nice. Got the carbon fiber AP1 spoiler. This is my favorite spoiler on this car, by the way. Not the carbon fiber, but this AP1, the small one. I like this one. This was the way I had my last S2000. I had that. Uh, lip and then I had the AP2 front spoiler which this doesn't have that spoiler is impossible to yep he did leave the key he dropped this car off this is the first time we've seen this car by the way so he dropped it off here about a month ago hopefully I've still got power in the battery take this back to the shop now and I'll call a customer and just kind of let him know that I picked the car up and took it to the shop just to ease the customer and it's something that I would want which is most of what we've done uh, the business model by the way it's such simple treat the customer how I want to be treated and this is the type of thing I would want to call and say hey just want to let you know we have your car everything's good the battery was good uh you know there's no issues 
So that's what we are gonna do. Let me go ahead and sneak out too. The gate closes. Sweet. So you've seen the shop from here. It's not far away. It's just that way and left. Follow George here. George showing off a little bit. Having a little bit of fun. I'm not doing that. It's not my car. So try and keep this car cool because the first thing we're going to do is the clutch. So if I can keep some temperature out of it, we don't have to sit and wait as long for it to cool down. Let me go ahead and coast down this road. Nice and quiet. So uh, that video should be up by now, but check out the Jeep exhaust. That was a super nice uh, midsection we built for the Jeep. So let's go ahead and pull her in. All right, we'll go ahead and pull in. So the car has 59, 933 miles on it as it sits. So looks just as stock as can be. Nice and clean, beautiful. Looks very nice. All right, that's the one. Uh, remember, this one has the the digits on everything, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you told me about this. Except they left so many of the VIN on every single part that unbolts. Yeah. That's interesting. Let's go over his list and see what he's getting. All right, so this one is coming from Canada. It has 91 octane. We're doing the 92 kit on this. Uh, just so we can get a little bit more power without running as much boost or timing because of the gas. So clutch, flywheel, stealth exhaust, radiator he wants black, uh, LHT catch cam, braided clutch line, skunk to header, wrinkle black, spark plug cover, serpentine belt, oil change, double gauge pod with boost and air fuel. So I definitely agree on this. This valve cover looks so pretty. It will definitely look better with a wrinkle black valve cover. So we're going to go in the air drop the transmission, replace the clutch, and we'll cross that off our list first, so. Starbucks cards. That is terrific. In the console. Actually, inside the console? Yeah, they were down in here. Oh, wow, that was awesome. Well, we'll definitely save those. Right now, Esther is off. She's been off for how long? About two weeks now? This, I think this is week two? No, April is week three. This is week three. We haven't had Esther here in three weeks, so no Starbucks coffee. However, we will stack those up for when Things return to normal and Esther comes back. We do miss her around here. And food has been definitely uh, in short supply. I've been getting us food every day and it's costing a fortune. So we need Esther to come back and start making it again. But we'll keep, we'll keep trucking along. It'll be okay. So we're listening to a little bit of music because we're so sick of talk radio telling everybody that the world is gonna end. A little bit of more, what is it, 80s? Is it 90s? Uh, I don't remember. 80s or 90s, which is it? It's today's music. It's today's music. So there it is. Looks like every other Honda clutch. Uh, obviously a ton of clutch material. So it's probably about wore out. Uh, plus the fingers are pushed way in We'll take a look over here You've seen this I just did a video recently and it was about a 35 40 minute video all on a clutch It's had some heat into it. There's a little bit of life left on the disc I show you this because you'd be amazed how many customers say hey, how did the clutch look? Especially if it's an out-of-state uh, customer you see the uh, looseness in the springs there This is an OEM disc. This is uh, they make a noise on DXL known as clutch buzz you see that so it happens on all discs so uh, we get asked that all the time which is the best clutch that doesn't experience buzz from the disc they all do after a while there it is all right this is the clutch fork from the s2000 we're working on right now and when you grease these you put a little grease in here for the pivot on the slave cylinder and if it'll focus in there, there's a little dot in the center. And that little dot is like a reservoir that holds fluid. You want to take a little pick or a mini screwdriver and clean that out. 
and that way you can get grease in there and it'll stay in there because normally you see that this doesn't go in there I mean I'm trying to do it one-handed but you have to really pry to get this stuff out it dries in there and it gets stuck and it doesn't like to come out but you want to make sure you clean this out get it all the way cleaned out put some fresh grease in there you can see there it's kind of a deep reservoir so that'll hold plenty of grease for the job at hand my account information what are you doing programming it well I have to do a password reset because I never use my Starbucks account oh so you're gonna do what Esther does yeah gonna load those in your phone and go get his coffee every well, morning just one just me you're not gonna get one for yourself well so now time for the shifter to go back in yeah. transmission is in yeah, yeah. use that I'm gonna get it dirty yeah turn that in yeah wipe that on your phone <laughs> all right I better get that I better get that another early morning here car is coming along really well we've got a few more things to do on it uh, hopefully everybody is staying uh, staying safe and healthy staying home trying to occupy yourself hopefully you're watching our YouTube videos and you get some enjoyment from that and just remember you know always go outside and clean your car take the wheels off it clean the wheels clean the calipers you know part of that getting involved in your car I know that's the kind of thing I would be doing well luckily we're an essential business but essential to me is to stay on track with my customers cars um, you kind of got a feeling from us in the past uh, hopefully you've watched our videos and you get a feel of our character but I would be the type if I couldn't work I'd probably take this home and do it in my garage push my car out in the street and work on this in my garage because the commitment is a very a very important thing to me if I tell you I'm gonna do something I'm gonna do it sometimes I take on jobs or I put quotes together and I've royally screwed up on my end, but you can't go back on. <laughs> Some people are gonna tell me I'm wrong, and I probably am, but once you do something, you gotta follow through. Your character is worth more than the profit you would have lost. Hopefully that makes sense. I have that really strong, like, handshake, deal uh, mentality, so I, I tend to stick with those kind of things. Let's go ahead and switch the lights on real quick. All right, ready for a massive light ceremony? Watch this. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? These LED lights are one of the best investments we made. So a car is coming along very nice. It's the 92 blower, just so you can see that. This is the larger inlet for the supercharger. We've been asked about these pipes so much, I get probably one or two messages a week. Can I buy the pipes? Can I buy the pipes? One of the reasons we haven't sold the pipes in the past is when you are busy doing a pre-existing job it's hard to stop and sit on the bench and weld up a couple of pipes and we don't have uh, anybody else here that can do that we had plans of hiring another person this year but with this whole virus thing everything's kind of shaky uh, nobody really knows how long it's going to last what the long-term future is i don't want to bring somebody in we're trying to keep our shop clean and sanitized so it's being postponed but we are looking at bringing somebody in we're going to bring back the lht intercooled supercharged manifold that again is something we've been asked for a lot that's going to happen and um, we're also going to start producing uh, a small run of these pipes we're going to do um for the 92 kit and the 81 kit the 92 kit obviously has the bigger inlet and we searched and searched and went through tons of different filters and part numbers. This is a k and filter, but we played with all kinds of different models and part numbers to get the perfect fit. This is the right diameter, obviously, for the pipe, but the flange is angled and it cones off pretty good and it fits in the spot so nice, if you can really see that. But this is like the perfect fit. It doesn't rub anything. It allows we've made 500 horsepower on the filter so we don't worry about the um the sealing of the filter of course it's a k and brand it's not you know a generic brand we're not going to worry about it failing but 
keep an eye out for this. We're going to offer these pipes. More than likely, we're going to just offer them raw aluminum because we can't have well this guy wants black and this guy wants wrinkled and dude over there wants polished and this guy wants to see if he can do blue but not too dark but a little bit light blue you know what i'm saying we don't have the facility to set up shop building bits of pipe welding bits on the end so keep that in mind i think this would be a good addition to the people that already have kits nobody wants that little iat sticking out of here if it's in the manifold so I actually spoke to this customer and he said, hey, um, check out the airbox. We put something in there for you. So never actually took it apart. We just take the airbox out as one lump piece. But he did hide some gift cards in the center console for us, which is much appreciated, especially now more than ever. Oh, look at that. I would have never seen these wow beautiful look at that that is some panera gift cards thank you so much really thank you thank you esther is not here she hasn't been here for three weeks and things have been kind of look at that he's already done the lht airbox mod check that out canon filter took the divider piece out and what you really got to do is block the resonator tube back there which is part of the mod and he did that look at that that little area there is just for sound it's to stop a it's basically a sound chamber it's to prevent the resonance going through there and by blocking that up it gives you a little bit more more of an intake sound but as you see by that wall being removed it's giving the intake access to more air um gotta talk to him see if he wants us to install those brake lines uh, of course the filter and oil he has supplied we're gonna go ahead and put that in the car go ahead and taking this apart back here to do the fuel pump let's go ahead and remove this take that cover off hopefully there's no amplifier behind there all right so you've seen back here these tabs here, I've done like a tutorial on these before and I don't think I've posted it. But these, they come out super easy, but now everything's getting kind of old and brittle. These things, just pull them just nice and easy. Don't yank on them. I've actually seen a couple where the end breaks off. So just be a little bit gingerly with them as you remove them. This cover here comes out from the bottom. And again, I'm gonna tell you, cause I've seen people just grab this and just pry it off take it off from the bottom put your fingers under here lift it up super easy and then pull it straight down and it will clear those bars so there we are tip the spare tire out fuel pump is behind that cover Dane says this is real there you go america dana white <laughs> why should a daughter like social it while you're doing it like she can shoot the videos like a like a pro <laughs> that's what it says that's what it says who doesn't want to Oh, so we just spoke to actually talked to him a couple of days ago. These were in the trunk, and I kind of guessed you probably want these installing. It's not just for a film, so we can like show off the content. I usually have a set of those just in my trunk going around. Well, I do too. I have a set at the house. That's what I figured you too. Wanted. Yeah, right next to my bed, I have an alarm clock, also another phone. Yeah. Um, a little model of a yellow Integra Type R that a friend of mine gave me 20 years ago and a pack of brake lines. Yeah. So these are going to get installed on the car, of course, flush and bleed. Looks like the fluid is it's pretty, pretty good. good. Yeah, he's going to do some brake work. I just double checked his email. So he's going to do some brake work when he gets home. So add these to the list and other than that, it's looking fantastic under there. A yeah. uh, couple of LHT things you want to do in is the master cylinder brace, which goes here. And then a battery tie, which goes there. So you might have mentioned, uh, might have seen me mention this before, but if you want to get into an argument with a dedicated car guy, start talking about oil. These guys are so passionate about their oil. Doesn't matter what they use, if it's an Amsoil guy, a Mobile guy, a Castrol, uh, Joe Gibbs, any of those guys, they will argue this like they have stock in the company. You know what my take is? You ready? Okay, so the new braided brake lines are on there. 
and flushed. These are the good ridge lines. These are the ones that we recommend and use, by the way. Um, everything is pretty close to uh, starting up over here. Uh, it did want the LHT battery tie, which is going to replace that one, which is actually in pretty good shape. Usually, uh, this coating all comes off here. And then, of course, the LHT master cylinder brace. So, let me go ahead and install those now. So I just made a little change. This is his uh, trickle charging cable. Uh, the wire went right across here. Well, he wanted one of these so he doesn't want to block it and obscure it. So just rerouted that wire along here, put a little zip tie on here and ran the wire this way. Just a little bit cleaner. He can still get to the connector. We'll tuck it down there, but it just looks a little tidier. All right, so we got our exhaust on right here. He wanted the factory tips which really do look nice on the AMP2. You see how good that looks? Well, they're a little dingy. They're not terrible, but we're gonna go ahead and just uh, make it, it's actually scratched up here and dented. We can't fix that. But we can go ahead and refinish it, make it look nicer. Uh, the paint is flaking off pretty bad on the inside. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. And we'll cut back and show you what it looks like here in a minute. All right, so look at the difference there. Now this is one of those things that you've heard us talk about. This is LHT TLC. This isn't something you paid for. And this isn't something we're going to charge them for. This is just because we wanted to do it because we believe it needs it. Look at the other side real quick. See, it makes all the difference when someone has took the trouble to take a car and send it this kind of distance. That kind of distance, you want to go above and beyond, which is something that we do anyway. Uh, full exhaust and of course, Kelly converter, Skunk 2 header, everything is pretty much stock. It should be fairly quiet under here and it looks very, very stealth. Hence the black muffler and the polished tip. Looks close to stock as possible. So this one is done 420 and 273. Uh, one thing to mention, this car is running on 91 octane. It is from Canada. That is the fuel he uses. So we tuned it on the 91, which is in the tank, which is fresh 91. It's what he uses in his country. Well, to help with the power end of it, we use the 92 blower, which is the little bit larger blower at the same boost level. Typically, it's good for 15 to 20 horsepower more. There is more capacity in it by running it up a little higher, but just swapping it for the standard blower, about 20 horsepower. So because of the 91 octane and to keep it extra, extra safe, it doesn't run as much time as what we would run on a 93 car. So by using that 92 blower, which basically is this bigger head unit, it supplies more airflow, more horsepower without running as much time. And so it's safer and giving him the numbers that he was looking for. We, we like to give 400 plus. So 420 on this one, and it looks fantastic. Really, really liking the color scheme. He wanted the black. The pipe-in is our choice. We did the satin silver, which looks really, really clean. I really do like this. I like the silver and black because it goes with the extra pieces that we put on, the LHT battery tie, the VTEC solenoid, the radiator. Everything ties together 
everything looks like it's well planned out and it matches, which it really is one of the big parts of the build. So the car isn't that dirty and it's probably gonna sit in storage, but just part of it, we wanna clean it, make it look nice. It it's, makes us feel better. And if the, you know, the customer can get it while it's clean, it makes them feel better too. Look at that, Tycon Industries are calling. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a good wash and make it look pretty. do a quick demonstration of how good our wheel cleaner is. We're gonna use our neighbor's truck as a demo. Good thing is, he doesn't know we're using it as a demo. So I'm thinking that when we're all done, he's gonna look at that wheel and go, wow, why is that one so clean? All right, so we'll bring this in and go ahead and dry it off. It's in really, really good shape. You can tell it's really taken care of. The paint comes clean, really, really smooth feel, and it'll obviously clean up really nice. Just like I said, it's probably gonna get dirty before here and the customer, or if it gets shipped back to him, but it's just one of those things. It's taking care of the customer's car like it's your own. This is something I would want somebody to do to me if I was to take my car somewhere. I'd like them to do this kind of thing. It's not just to say, hey, look, we wash your car. It's just expressing the care also, and so attention. We know it's done correctly like we do. That's it. We're not gonna clean it with an old bucket and a rag that's dropped on the floor. We use the foam cannon. We use a really, really uh, a smooth, smooth, the really soft pad. I think this is Tycon again. All right, so this car is, we just talked to the customer. It's gonna go back on a truck back to Canada. So he is gonna be excited. It's actually funny, we've got almost the same car here. This one is coming in for a clutch. This has a turbo kit on it. So we're gonna be putting a new clutch in this. Uh, I'm not gonna say the brand of clutch, but he's had nothing but problems since the clutch went in here. So we're gonna take this apart. We'll show you this on a separate video. You'll see what is going on with this. And we'll look this over, maybe make some suggestions to the customer while we're looking at this. So that'll be on a separate video. So look how pretty this looks. Nice. So we'll film this when it goes on the truck. All right, so we just talked to the trucking company. We have to deliver it to their depot. Uh, talk to the customer, he gives us all the information. We're gonna go deliver it there, it's in St. Pete. So we're trying to help out however we can. This customer is in Canada and trying to get the car to him. It's a little bit more work than usual. He can't come down and get it like he would hope. That would have been the usual case and he was excited to pick it up, but that isn't gonna happen. So we're gonna go ahead and take it down there and make sure that they know what they're getting. All right, so we're heading to the drop-off right now. Uh, typically, we don't like to drive customers' cars uh, for many reasons. Uh, we're extra cautious anyway, but you know, rock chips, dog running out, anything. I uh, never want to give the customer bad news, and I don't need to see how an S2000 feels. I've owned enough. Okay, so we follow the directions. We go to the place we're supposed to drop off this car and it wasn't what we were expecting in the least. Hard to explain this, but let me share with you what the place looked like. So I called the customer, verified the address and said, I don't feel comfortable leaving the car here. I 
don't see anybody shipping cars. I don't see any notices for it. What do you want to do? So at that point, he called the company and said, no, we're right around the corner behind the mechanic shop. So that's where it was. Now, George has spotted this thing over here, and he's doing everything he can not to want to trade his Mugen Civic for it. What do you think? Think you should do it? Well, I just, the guy said that he was asking 15 grand for this. I just looked and one went on Bring a Trail for 30. 30? Yeah. You know, if you buy that, you could buy that and tow it. So at that point, my camera died. I do want to report the car made it back to Canada. Everything was good. Customer has reported. He's super happy with it. In fact, I'm hoping he's going to comment below. His name is Mark, but he kind of reassured the things that I always believe we're doing as 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 right as we can, and I I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I really do. I try and do things the way I would want someone to do it for me. It's super simple. It's super. It's the easiest business model. Give somebody a little bit more than what they paid for, but treat them right. Treat them the way you want to be treated, and you can't go far wrong. That's what we're doing. That has always been my thing. So he can comment below and let you know what he thinks. But he called me. He it was. I mean, he he, he shared his experience with me, and he said, "No, no, listen, you're. You, I'm not blowing smoke here. I, I want to tell you that the fact that we had to leave." He had to leave Florida because of the whole pandemic and it was something with closing the borders and maybe his insurance and something like that. He said, I've got to get out. And it just hurts to leave the car behind and get out and hope that we are what we say we are. Make sure we're not going to, you know, I don't know, do something we're not supposed to do. The car was in storage. We picked the car up, called him. Hey, I've got the car. Everything's good. Just like I said earlier in the, in the film. And I think that is, it, it goes a long way. He's... 3,000 miles away and it's snowing we're down here and it's 80 degrees but we're a world away when he can't get on a plane and come down here we're a world away so he expressed how grateful he was of how we handled the whole situation and that that's it it's that simple so thanks for watching hopefully it's not too corny at the end hopefully you enjoy our content if you do subscribe click the link and we'll see you in the next video and don't forget enjoy your cars